Hello everyone, my name is Emma and welcome to Onerophobia, maybe? I, I don't know, I don't know what that phobia means. This is a game made by, I'm assuming, a bored Leviath a leviathan, um, who knows. Uh, don't know how long it is, but who cares, we're gonna get in, oh shit, we're, oh, oh god, okay. So basically this game is about, you like, apartment hunting and you ignored the fact that people are going missing. It's locked. True. Ah. Bolt cutters. <laughs> Wait, did I? Oh, okay. I I'm Gary Walker, just an average 27 year old office worker, always hunting for cheap places to live. So when I heard about this super cheap apartment, I ignored the rumors of people going missing. I mean, there's always a catch with cheap rent, right? All right. I wish my eyes did that. Oh, it's a two. Room two. <laughs> Thanks for pointing out the obvious that it's room two. <laughs> There's nothing unsettling about this room. There's something unsettling about this room. Okay. This is my room. Ah, cool. Use the key. Hell yes. Ah, it looks nice. I'm really exhausted today. Let's sleep right away. Yep. Too many flies around here. Um, wash the dishes later. Uh, you should probably redo the water in that sink. Um, but I won't judge. Completely. Why is there a stop sign in my wardrobe? That is interesting though. The doors? Because I have mirrors on mine, which you can't actually see in the video. You can barely see. It's like this this thing right right here. I have mirrors as my doors. That's kind of interesting that you can just look through. I don't know, the little things, right? I'll turn that on. I have a nightlight. Fuck no. I'm sleeping with both lights on. Uh, all three lights on. Let's do this. <laughs> That's how I get into bed on, um, summer nights. <laughs> the silence is suffocating. Where am I? This isn't my room. Are you sure? Oh yeah, there's no sub sign. Huh. It's broken. Probably should keep that on. Ah, but the dishes are done, so it's definitely not my apartment. Where's the lights? I'm sorry, but if there was someone over there, I can't see shit. So many books. Ah, yes. A well-lived-in apartment. Ah, light. You know what you should do? You should just go back to bed. I feel like that's a... That's a ooh, that's dark. Hello? Can't stand the quiet. Okay. By all means, it's a nice apartment. It just, um... It leads out to that. I'm not sure how I ended up in this nightmare, but everything f feels so eerie here. The silence is suffocating and the darkness seems to stretch on forever. There's a sense of dread that hangs in the air. I can't shake the feeling of being watched. Something haunts this corridor. I can feel it following me. I'll keep looking for a way out, but for now I'll document my experiences here. May it help me make sense of this nightmare. Okie dokie. Is this where I just Learn to sprint and just ran ass kick whatever bastard comes at me. That says exit, but I'm not inclined to go to the exit just yet. Oh. Oh, it's in the toilet. There's a toilet? Oh, what happened here? Probably death. Could I just grab one of these? That, that right there. That would be great to just have. Uh, I love how those voice acting of Ugh. Okay, I, I mean, I guess that's the key for the exit. I didn't really try the door, so I'm just gonna assume. But Spider-Man over here is gonna jump down at me, isn't he? Oh, fuck me. Hi. Jesus Christ. No, he didn't jump down at me. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. I can't, I can't run. I can't run. <laughs> You did, I know. Do I have a limited sprint? Oh, fuck off. The checkpoint is the start of the bloody game. All right, uh, this is my room. Yeah, I know, I know. Let's let's do this here. Let's get this over with. Okay, yeah, I do run out of stamina. So I, I basically sprinted to that monster and then ran out of stamina <laughs> and died. I mean, makes sense, right? <laughs> okay, just sprint. A 
Hey, bud. <laughs> Fuck, you're fast. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, will I make it? It's unlocked. Yeah, sure. This is not my part, <laughs> but I like the desk. I don't mind this actually. Can I stay at this one? I've always wanted one of these hyper desks. Have my three monitors. Oh, I have stuff up there. I mean, I do have a really awesome desk with three monitors and like a whole shelf up there with a bunch of shit. But yeah. Yes. Haha. -ha. Perfect. That mug is floating. I wish my dishes were this clean. Yeah, that's why I said you should probably just stay in this place. No one's gonna know. They're all clearly dead. Holy shit. Ignore it. Yeah, okay. Okay, I never, st I never imagined finding myself in such a place. This maze feels like a nightmare within a nightmare. It's as if the walls themselves are closing in on me, suffocating me with their oppressive silence. But amidst this darkness, I've stumbled upon a glimmer of hope, a way out. There are three levers hidden within the ma this maze, each holding the key to my escape. They're the only hope of unlocking the gate that bars my path to freedom. Yet I can't help but feel a sense of dread as I search for them. It's not just the twisting corridor that unnerve me. It's the presence that lurks within them. As I navigate this maze, I can hear her faint cries echoing through the darkness. It's a chilling sound, a reminder of the danger that lurks around every corner. I've caught glimpses of her, the little girl, but she's not what she seems. There's something sinister about her, something that sends shivers down my spine. I'll tread carefully, moving through the shadows and staying silent as possible. <laughs> yeah, not me. It's my only chance of survival in this twisted maze. May fortune favor me on this treacherous path. Shit. Can I cheat? No one's watching. <laughs> Just take a picture, right? Oh, M for map. Jesus Christ, woman. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Hi. High five. Eh. I hope that worked. Oh. You have nothing. It's this way. And then it's this way. Oh, you don't even have a head. I feel sorry for you. is a threat. There, I high fived you. All right, um, well, this is a dead end, so So I just need to get to three.
she's too far away to hear. I think she just does a circle. Hey bud. Oh, almost there. Almost there. I'm glad you can see the map. It's made this so much easier. Turn the map off. <laughs> oh my god, okay, well it's still not my apartment because there's no stop sign. The darkness creeps, but the light pushes it back, yet I still feel its shadow lingering. Ah, the classic spaghetti meatballs. Okay, sure thing. Another obstacle stands between me and freedom. A gate blocks my path. It's lever hidden behind yet another gate. It unlocks it. I must divert power from the lights in the gate, but in doing so, darkness will envelop the area, and with it, the lurking horrors. I'll need to tread carefully, using my flashlight to navigate and fend off whatever lurks in the shadows. It's a perilous journey, but my only hope of escaping from this twisted nightmare. Pull the lever? Why not? What am I meant to do there? What? Yeah, yeah, get over it. It's not your apartment. Come on. Oi, come back here. Fuck with. It says use my flashlight to, um, fend off. Um, I don't know how much that worked last time. The fuck? Oh, okay. That's how this works. So just keep going through, try and find... It's broken. Of course it is, because the game would just be easy if it just turned on. Alright. I'm assuming this lit- ah, there it is. Yes! Hell yes! Door is unlocked. Can we go to free Jesus Christ? Got a little style out of me, Scott. Alright. This, this apartment's probably the worst one I've had. I find myself back in my own room, yet the nightmare persists. Oh, this is my own room? Or is that the person's room? I don't know. It's as if the horrors of this place have seeped into my very fabric of my being, twisting my reality into never-ending maze of fear. As I reflect on the nightmares I've faced so far, it becomes clear that each one has been a manifestation of the residence's deepest fears, from the suffocating silence to the looming darkness. Every terror I've encountered has been born from their their minds. Now, as I prepare to confront my own fears, I can't help but feel a sense of dread. The thought of facing my fears of human interaction fills me with unease unlike any other, but p perhaps this is the final trial, the last hurdle before I can finally escape this waking nightmare. I must steel myself for what lies ahead and pray that this ordeal will soon come to an end. Right, well it's not my room because there's no stop sign, so it might be someone else talking or something. Aha! So we're back to the beginning.
Oh. Well, well, we're gonna walk in because I unlocked the door. Nothing? Alright. Ah, I'm guessing I have to know it. <laughs> oh, hi. Sorry. Oh, fuck off. I closed the door on you. Huh. Exit, open, go, open, open. God, the wet footsteps. Hey, it's my room, the stop sign's there. Because I randomly have a stop sign. Am I finally awake? Well, I have a random flashlight, so probably not. Oh. Oh. Shit, well. Guess I'm not awake. Um. Nope, I didn't see it. Was there a note in there? Hey, sorry, was there a note in here? No note? Okay, well... Fuck, that's why... Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna die. Oh, come on, come on, come on! Uh, pu pull the lever? Yes. Oh, there was... <laughs> Fuck! Nope. 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 Holy shit, she is fast. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Get the door. Get the door. Get the door. She's fast. Come on. Come on. Get the frick out. I I, I never actually saw her in the, that level that she appeared in. <sighs> Fuck off. Well, you died by the light. Yep, yeah, okay. Do I need to find where the lever goes? Do I? I don't want to go down that. That's a long hallway. God, now it's just a com combination of everything. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, that was violent. I might just go down the middle. I feel safer that way. Is the last one going to be that th Oh. Hey bud, do I just try the doors? Did I, did I just hear something? Is something behind me right now? No? No? Okay. Fuck, this is going to take ages. I expect something to be behind these. That's gonna come after me, isn't it? Fuck, it is too. Ah, oh, fuck you! I got the exit. You and your fucking wet feet. Go, 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 go. I can still hear him moving. Oh god, the wet feet. <sighs> Am I finally awake? Oh, I'm on a couch. Maybe I should give alcohol a rest for a while? Oh. Interesting. Ending one. I'm just now trying to think of what other endings it could have possibly been. What other things could you possibly do? What is happening right now? The hell is happening right now?
That's the name of the game. Whether or not I can pronounce it, I'm gonna leave up to your imaginations. Or oh, watch the start of the video. <laughs> okay, that was interesting. It was decent length. I've almost got, I've got 38 minutes in recording. That was quite a long one when it comes to short indie games. It was good. It had a decent amount of puzzles with, well, each chapter had just a different thing to it, I will say, which was good. And then it shoved them all together in, in like one quick burst of each one at the end there. So that, that was well set out. That wet feet dude was definitely the worst one. <laughs> well, you can just make a horror game just based off that dude, the wet feet. Ugh. Anyway, that was really good. I don't think I have many complaints about it. No, I guess just the things taking so long to do when you cut the bolt cutters, you just... I feel like you're waiting for a little bit too long. Cut those few seconds off and then the game will feel a lot, uh, flow a lot better. Um, but that's the only thing. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you're new, subscribe. And uh, check out the Dev and Kevin who are both in the description below. Have a great day now. I'll see you in another one. Bye-bye.